Look, I know a lot of you use two-person tents like they're one-person tents, but sometimes you want a legit two-person tent even if it means carrying a little extra weight. So I decided to check out three of the top two-person tents, all of which have been redesigned for 2022. MSR Hubba Hubba, the Nemo Dagger, and the Big Agnes Copper Spur. And you know what? These are some nice tents. Let's check it out. So all three of these tents are more traditional two-person freestanding tents. They were all double wall tents with two vestibules and two doors, and they all cost right about the same, with both the Nemo Dagger and the MSR Hubba Hubba coming in at $480 US, and the Big Agnes Copper Spur costing a little more than $550 US. The question is, what makes the Copper Spur worth $70 more than these other two tents? Well, the best that I can tell, it's the weight. The Copper Spur is the lightest tent on the this list at three pounds and two ounces, which is not a light tent, but it certainly isn't heavy either, especially when you compare it to the Nemo Dagger that weighs in a whole pound heavier at four pounds and two ounces, which is much closer to what you would expect a traditional two-person tent to weigh. Two pounds per person is not bad weight distribution, which makes the Big Agnes seem all that much lighter. But then you have to look at the Hubba Hubba because it's just two ounces heavier than the Big Agnes and it's $70 cheaper. It makes you wonder why you would pick the Big Agnes, especially when you look at the floor layouts. Okay, look, I'm on a kick for 25 inch pads. I slept on a 20 inch pad for too many years and the comfort that comes from those extra five inches cannot be overstated. I've got a video that talks more about it that I'll link in the description below. But with 25 inch pads and two people, that means that you need a 50 inch floor space, which a lot of backpacking tents don't have, including the Copper Spur. It's 50 inches at the head, but it's only 43 inches at the feet, which means if you have two full rectangular 25 inch pads, they are not going to fit in the Copper Spur, but they will fit in both the Nemo Dagger and the MSR Hubba Hubba. Both have a rectangular floor that is 50 inches wide at the head and 50 inches wide at the feet. Now, you could probably fit two mummy wide pads inside the Copper Spur, but I didn't have any of those handy to check. Even so, I'm telling you 50 inch floors is where the industry is headed, which means even though the Copper Spur is lighter, it's just not worth the weight savings on a true two person tent like this. So maybe you're wondering, what makes these true two person tents? Well, for me, that's the headroom. Headroom or the lack of headroom is what's really going to make a tent feel small. All tents have the most room near the floor where you sleep. And when you're asleep, space isn't much of a concern. But when you need to sit up and put on or take off a layer, if the ceiling is more narrow than the floor, it's going to feel really cramped in there. All these tents have near vertical walls to give you the room that you need to sit up, change clothes with adequate room. And for me, that makes the difference between a two person tent and a two person tent that's better suited for just one person. The vertical walls on these tents are provided by these cross beams that extend out to the sides of the tent opening up the headroom. Nemo found a way to attach the cross beam to the rest of the pole structure, but Big Agnes and MSR left the cross section detached, which to me is just begging for you to lose it somewhere. Could you imagine if somehow this got separated from the rest of the poles and left at home or worse at a campsite somewhere? Without this cross beam section, your tents are basically useless. Now, all these tents I'm talking about today, you can get at moosejaw.com, and you can't necessarily say that about other retailers. Moosejaw is this week's sponsor, but even before Moosejaw became a sponsor, I was shopping there because I've noticed that they have one of the most extensive inventories of any online retailer. Now, I haven't done an exhaustive dive into this, but from my own experience, all you guys bring a laptop with you when you go backpacking, right? From my own experience, this is what I have found. Here, let me show you. Okay, a video I did not too long ago was on the Lost Ranger 3-in-1 system from Big Agnes. And so if I type that into the search bar here and hit return, look at here. They've got one of the Lost Ranger sleeping bag systems. But if I go over here to Moose Jaw and you look here, they've got four different systems. Let's look at one other product that I did a video on not too long ago. That is the Nick Wax Downproof. Look at that. Results for Downproof. They got nothing, they got the down wash. We're gonna look somewhere else, okay? Showing results, they got nothing. But if I go over here to Moose Jaw and I type in downproof, right there, Nick Wax downproof. Now that's just two things I can remember from recent searches where I was looking for something that Moose Jaw had and others didn't. I'm sure there's more. Moose Jaw has one of the most extensive selections there is on the internet and that's coming from me. That's not something they asked me to say. 
check them out at moosejaw.com or through the links in the description. Oh, and I just found out that we just got a discount code for My Life Outdoor viewers only. It's M-L-O-M-J. That stands for My Life Outdoors and Moose Jaw. It'll give you 10% off most of the things that Moose Jaw sells, 5% off things that are already on sale. So use that discount code and go check out Moose Jaw. On the inside, all these tents have ample pockets that help get the gear off the floor and above your head, allowing more floor space for what it's really needed, your sleeping pad. But the Nemo takes this one step further with the landing zone storage area. It's basically a small bathtub floor for your vestibule, and it helps protect your gear from the dirt and the elements while also moving it out of the main tent area. It's like a small single wall tent for your gear. It's a nice feature for sure, but it's part of the reason why this tent weighs so much. Okay, but which one of these tents is the best? Well, the Nemo is certainly the nicest with its ability to accommodate two wide pads, really spacious vestibules, good ventilation, and all the extra little bells and whistles like the Jake's Foot fly and pole attachment system, the Gatekeeper door clips, Osmo hybrid fabric, which is a mix of nylon and polyester, all of this make this the nicest tent in this group. But if I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these features just feel like overkill. And in my opinion, you're gonna pay for it with weight. The copper spur is the lightest, but only by two ounces. And since I can't get two wide pads in there and it's $70 more expensive than the other two, it's not the best option in my opinion. Not only that, but anytime you see pictures of this thing, it's got trekking poles holding out the vestibule door and it makes it look really cool in the pictures, like it's a nice porch or an awning that you could cook under or something like that. But in reality, it's so tiny, it feels more like a marketing gimmick than anything actually useful. And then you have the Hubba Hubba, and I've gotta say, it feels like MSR really put a lot of thought into this tent. It's only two ounces heavier than the Copper Spur, but you can fit two wide pads, and to help save that weight, it's got carbon fiber poles that you typically only see on high-end tents. Big Agnes has two tents with carbon fiber poles, both of which cost about $1,000 or more. MSR designed the fly so that it's impossible to put it on backwards, where Nemo and Copper Spur use color-coded clips so that you don't try to put it on the wrong way. The pockets on the roof have these nice little folding lips to keep your gear from falling out. The fly zippers open up to add ventilation. And my favorite feature is the zipper placement on the fly door. It cuts across instead of down the middle. This way you don't have to fold yourself in half to open up the tent and get out in the morning. Now, this is the exact same design as the MSR Freelight that I criticized earlier this year because on the Freelight, the design allows water to drip into the tent when you open the fly. But because the Hubba Hubba extends outward further, it moves the zipper clear of the tent floor. So even though you still get some dripping, for one, it's not as much dripping, and two, it's not inside the tent. And part of that is because both the Freelight and the Hubba Hubba have these little rain gutters. They don't work all that well on the Freelight, but on the Hubba Hubba, the door hangs open in such a way that actually allows the rain gutter to catch water and divert it away from the door, which means less dripping. It's not eliminated, but it's more acceptable and with the other features and the overall design, MSR did a really great job on this one. So out of the three, it's the best choice in my opinion. But what do you think? Which one of these tents would you buy? Or would you go with something completely different like the spacious and extremely light XMID Pro two-person tent that I talk about in this video right here? Check it out and let me know in the comments below. Thank you to Moose Jaw for sponsoring this video and also check out my first official fan art. Thank you Ace for sending that in. Like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.